many of you have ever heard something like, it's okay, honey. At least you tried. And how long do you think it would take for you to get sick of it? These words were a turning point in my life. And with perseverance and confidence, I changed my life. The simple phrase, it's okay, honey, at least you tried, made me more frustrated than anything else when I auditioned for a part in a play. Here at the Playhouse, actually. I loved to be on stage and had been in multiple plays before, but this time I stuttered so badly through my monologue that I couldn't get through it. I forgot my lines and I walked off the stage. Stuttering had never really bothered me before, but this time I felt defeated. And then, as I was walking out, I heard those words from one random, ultra-competitive mother. At that moment, I knew that I was never going to let stuttering interfere with my life like that again. But I didn't overcome my obstacle. I didn't defeat it. I became it. And I didn't change my life. I changed my outlook on life. I still stutter every day. Chocolate, shake, please. Small, and then a turkey sandwich. On white we arrive, right? Wheat, please. Any cheese? Yes, Swiss. Do you want it hot or cold? Uh, hot, please. Okay. For here to go. Uh, to go. Thank you. There are seven billion people in the world. Some of us stutter. Some of us can't sit still, can't read, can't draw, can't figure out how to do their taxes correctly, have 11 toes. Some people, some people even write with their left hand. <laughs> we all have something. We all have an obstacle in our life. But our society is constantly judging, constantly defining us by our obstacles, making it difficult to succeed, especially when we are young. But these obstacles don't normally just get up and walk away. Some never will. It's hard to overcome something that may never go away. Oh, but honey, at least you tried. So why don't we stop trying to miraculously overcome these obstacles and instead overcome our fear of that obstacle and others' perceptions? My advice would be that perseverance and confidence are the two most important things to start living a life that you want. I know I needed perseverance from myself to not give up too easily or get distracted from my goals in life that stuttering could have stopped. Even little things like joking with my friends or participating in class are continuing to perform. I also needed patience from the people around me, whether it was my best friend or a sales clerk, since it often seems like it takes me hours to finish a sentence and get my point across. Some people laugh. Others stare blankly. Some finish my sentences, and others just walk away. But most of the time, people are patient. I mean, except for telemarketers, but they've started to hang up on me now anyway. <laughs> confidence is also very important. You have to dig deep for confidence, despite the fact that you may be laughed at or talked down to. You have to step out of your comfort zone. Obstacles act like hurdles. When most people spot an obstacle, they become intimidated and start thinking of ways to get around it or avoid it. But I think that we should see personal obstacles as simply a significant part of who we are that cannot be left behind, but rather taken with us on life's journey. The experiences I've had have shown me that clearing the hurdle, the hurdle here being the obstacle, isn't enough by itself. You have to pick it up, hold it high above your head, and run with it. 
by now you've probably figured out that I don't stutter when I'm on stage. In the future, may you never hear the words, it's okay, honey, at least you tried, ever again. Thank you.